I was in England once, and I had to lead a, lead a janazah prayer. I led the janazah prayer. It was for a two-year-old young baby, young girl, two-year-old girl. And that was a very, the, mo, the most difficult janazah salah I've led in my life because at that time I had, a two-year-old, I had a two-year-old son. And I couldn't stand there without thinking that that was my son in front of me. After the janazah was over, we went to the graveyard. When we were lowering the body into the grave, the father went into the grave himself. I said to him, you know, it's maybe best you don't go. One of us should go. He insisted on going, so he went inside. He lowered his body, the daughter's body into the grave. When we were leaving the graveyard, he wasn't crying. And I was like, you know, brother, what's wrong? You know, it's okay to let a few tears out. There's nothing wrong with that. I understand that you're going through a lot right now. He said, Sheikh, I just don't believe it. Two nights ago, I tucked her in her bed. She went to sleep, and she, didn't just, she just didn't wake up the next morning. I was expecting her to come to me, jump on my bed, and mess around with me. I would fake get angry at her. She would fake fight back with me. That was our morning routine. And she didn't come to me that morning. She just didn't come. And, he, that's, and I said to him, look, I'm going to tell you one hadith, one narration. And after this narration, as you wish. The Prophet wasallam on the night of ascension, when he was on his journey to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, on the night of ascension itself, when he came to the seventh heaven, he came to Ibrahim alayhi salam. And he saw Ibrahim alayhi salam had a daycare running. He asked Ibrahim alayhi salam, what are all these kids doing here? So Ibrahim alayhi salam said, these are kids who've left their parents in the world. They're with me now until their parents come and collect them on the day of judgment. And I said to that man, do you not trust that Allah found a better caretaker for your child than you? And he said to me, promise me my daughters with Ibrahim. I said, until the day of judgment. And that's when he started crying. But this time he didn't cry out of pain. He was so happy. You rely on Allah. Allah will always give. The believer never loses. We don't lose. Do you not understand that? We never lose. We always win because we believe in Allah. We believe in life. For, for someone who doesn't believe in life after death, like the atheist, man, it's so miserable going through calamities. Because every difficulty you go through is pure pain. There's no, there's no good that comes out of it. You, don't, you know, for us, we may face a good in the world, yes, no, but we'll definitely face in the hereafter. The Prophet wasallam, he saw a lady in the community who was sad. He asked her, why are you sad? She said, I had a miscarriage. The Prophet wasallam said, do you not know that your child on the day of judgment will drag you to Jannah by pulling the umbilical cord? The child will come to Allah and say, Ya Allah, don't do hisab of this lady. She's coming to Jannah with me. This is my mother. I left her at a young age. She's coming with me now all the way. You have to learn to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the moment you can trust Allah, your life will become much more easier. Your heart will find rest. 